What's this place? This is Reflections, Daddy-o. An Elvis man should love it. Come on, babe, let's go get some steak. You can get a steak here, Daddy-o. Don't be a... Well then, after you, kitty cat. All the girls that I've loved before that have come walking out my heart. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right. We'll see you then. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to Reflection South Pass. Hi, man. I'm Chevin. I'm here to bunk up the menu. You look like that guy. Wait. Yeah, what were you saying, man? Hi, my name's Aaron. Chev, man. Chev. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Come through, I'll, I'll introduce you to Chef Pernod. Yeah, he's sweet man, thanks. Hey, how's it? How are you, man? Welcome to hey, Reflection, bro. I'm the head chef Pranav Joshi. Yeah, thanks man for inviting me here. So uh, anyway, tell me, what makes this kitchen so different from the others? Um, this kitchen is... Wait! Is it systematic? <laughs> is it hydromatic? <laughs> Why, it's grease lightning! Go grease lightning, you're burning up the quarter mile. Go grease lightning, you're cruising down the good. I try. Grease lightning, go grease lightning. Chicken scream. Chicks and cream. Ah, ah. Go grease lightning. Ow! Get you. Steak. Steak. Yeah, man, I'll have that right there. Oh, burnt to a crisp or bloody as hell? Bloody as hell. And a coke, man. Well, what about you, Peggy Sue? I'll have a steak salad and a $15 cocktail. Want that Martin and Lewis or uh, Amos and Andy? Martin and Lewis. Martin and Lewis it is. Thanks, my man. So, Steph. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. Oh really? I wish I was a pilot. So uh, what was it? It was a show about a team of secret agents called Fox Force 5. Oh yeah? Fox, because it, they're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force, as in they're a force to be reckoned with. And five, as in there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh really? What was your speciality? Knives. The character I played, Uma Thurman, she did this thing where she told a joke at the end of every show. What was your joke? Well, we only got to do one joke because we only did one show. Oh, come on, tell me the joke. It's corny. Chef's ordered um, a scotch fillet um, and Stephanie has ordered uh, steak salad today. So what I'm going to cook first is uh, scotch fillet because scotch fillet is going to take longer time than the salad. When you cook any, any of the salad or any meat, as I've said in previous um, dishes, you've got to be very careful what dish um, are you cooking. For instance, Steph has ordered um, steak salad, so, which is very, very tender part. It's a fillet of the beef, so it's going to cook very fast. Everything. I got chickens, I got chickens. Yeah, girl, I'm thinking of you. Yesterday I met your mama, now I got 
gotta meet your daddy too I heard he was six foot four and he wears diamond ring Oh, I've got feathers in my wallet but no chicken wings Feathers in my wallet but no chicken wings Yeah. Hey, Steph, do you mind if I uh, try a $15 cocktail? I haven't tried a $15 cocktail yet. Sure. Sweet. Thanks, babe. Damn, that's a good cocktail. Mm. Come with me to cloud nine. Let's drift away. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. I am taking my time. Girl, and I. I'm from Cloud Nine. Ah, ah, ah. Happy go lucky with a lot of love. Sorry, girl, but I never. Carry much, cause I'm from Cloud Nine. They tell me you're a singer. When did you first get into singing? I've always been around musical people, like my mum, when she always used to go to church and stuff, and play the guitar, and my uncle Tommy. Um, but I started singing songwriting about a year and a half ago. How would you describe your type of music? Um, I describe it, a lot of my music is like based on old school Māori. Māori means ethnic New Zealand um, style, like, and, and that's like jinga chika, jinga chika, jinga chika. And like, I try and take that and I put it in a contemporary scene, like, you know, you go have Jake Johnson's and all those types of people and just that style of singing. Yeah. My, my, my greatest musical influence is my uncle Tommy. This guy, he's got a wicked style, and you'll see it in the song called Feel It that I play. And that's, um, I went around to his place one day and I saw him I saw him playing, and I was like, yeah, that's cool. He's got this jinga chick, oh, oh, he's got that quirky old, like real, but he's sick to watch, you know, he performs. That's what, a, what it is about him. I try and grab that. He's my influence, he's my bass, you know, them and all those old school tunes that he plays, yeah. So there's a lot of old school, you know, the songs with Hart and my uncle Tommy and my mum as well, yeah. Love it when you come back from the ladies and your meal is waiting for you on the table. Man, you're lucky to get fed at all. Elvis is not much of a waiter. So, what did you order there? Steak, baby cakes. You know I love it bloody as hell. <sighs> What'd you get? I got the steak salad. Oh, really? Can I try some of that? Sure. Oh, sweet. Ooh, let's break it down. Shalana, nanana, nanana. Song is for you, girl. Hey, bass man, what have you got to say about this? Let's hear you go. If you could choose any artist to play alongside, who would you choose? Um, definitely my uncle Tommy, if I could play with him. <laughs> He's sick. I would love playing next to him. Um, I don't know, I don't really care about like other artists as such, you know. I just I just like getting up there on stage and playing myself. And I like being the centre of attention. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You can come along, join in and sing my song. Let's sit out little night, watch the morning sun. Rising through the year, then we'll go home when it's all done too. All the girls. We 
Whenever you buy or you plan to make any salad, it's very important that you buy, uh, you pick a real good part of the meat which is really, really tender for the uh, steak. Only then it's going to be, uh, only then the salad will be complemented with that meat. Otherwise, there's no point chewing up any, uh, any thick part of the meat. Also, if you're cooking a barbecue or anything, you need to know um, what kind of uh, dish are you preparing on the barbecue. Some guys just put barbecue, slap the meat on, and it's end of the day, it's dry. So also when you put anything on barbecue in your home, you've got to fillet the steak nice and thin and cook it to the perfect temperature so when you eat it, it's still moisture. Oh, I did I did it, I broke my own. So that's what that's about. Medium rare, rare. Medium rare. How long will that take? Eight minutes. Stop. Make it five. Huh? Okay, you're up. Let's flip the ideas of this world up to down. We'll adopt a million children, let them run around. Let's go. Climb down. Uh, when you're writing, what comes first? usually the music or the lyrics? Um, mainly with me it's like the emotion, like I try and get, um, either feel the emotion and then I like think of situations that elicit or bring out that emotion and then I like, um, and then I like write some background music and then to it then I'll just start playing, writing the lyrics to capture each situation and the situation to capture the emotion. And, like you'll see it in like that song, feel it like I say before, it's like about grabbing situations, about when you're trying to get something or something you really want, you feel scared but you're excited at the same time. Yeah. I go and grab me a bone, my eyes are a million to a wall, and I feel it, I feel it, but I'm putting my friends, I'm gonna take that chance, cause I feel Based in like old school, like old school, simple, no real complex stuff, and it's just slap guitar, heaps Māori, like heaps Māori, heaps New Zealand ethnic style, and uh, just try and bring old heart back to New heart back to the world, yeah. No. <laughs> people that I have to thank, not even when I make it there, but right now, like there's people that help me right now, like uh, my friend Greg, um, I've got another dude from uh, White Noise Recordings and stuff like that, he helps me out heaps, 
and uh, also my mum and my dad. Definitely, I thank my mum. Thank my mum and my dad and my two brothers for giving me crap throughout my whole life. <laughs> and uh, like uh, all the people that help me get to my the place where I get. Obviously, that's what everyone would do anyway. I'd probably do help shout out, so. <laughs> do you think you're ready for that kind of success? Uh, yeah, I reckon I'm ready for the kind of success, but. It's just a matter of me stepping outside my comfort zones and each time I've got to step out, I've got to grow. And it's kind of a hard thing, but I'm going to get there. That's my want. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Why don't we build a world? Let's build a world. Build a world of love and appreciation. We call it Cloud Nine. Ah, ah, ah. Songs. I don't know. I'll tell you my Fox Force 5 joke. Alright. I'll play a song. It's called Feel It. What's the story behind that one? Feel It? Oh. It's about like when um, a guy tries to get a girl and like he's really excited but scared at the same time. He doesn't know whether he's going to get her or not but at the end of the day all he does is and all he can do is just try. And if he makes it, he makes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He just lets it go and just lets her it. That's that song. So where to from here? Where do you want your music career to go? Yeah, um, we're currently recording with um, a guy called uh, White Noise, and he's pretty good, real good. So like, uh, just going to put down uh, about four songs, an EP, and then try and send it out and see how that goes. Otherwise, like, um, we're looking at getting gigs at Windsor. Uh, we're currently setting one up. That's pretty sweet, eh? We're just going with the flow. Heaps of people are like uh, wanting to join on, so. I'll just see how it goes. I mean, I've only just started four months ago. I'll just take it from there. I got chickens, I got chickens. Yeah, girl, I'm thinking of you. Yesterday I met your mama, now I gotta meet your daddy too. Heard he was six, he wears a diamond ring. Oh, I've got feathers in my wallet, but no chicken wings. Feathers in my wallet, but no chicken wings. Now I heard your dad, he was kind of angry about what I said before Girl, you should know I'm only playing when we're talking at that door I heard your dad, he was kind of angry about them diamond rings Girl, why the hell are you gonna tell your daddy everything? I got chickens, I got chickens, yeah, girl, I'm thinking of you Yesterday I met your mama, now I gotta meet your daddy too I heard he was six foot four and he wears a diamond ring Oh, well, I've got feathers in my wallet but no chicken wings Feathers in my wallet but no chicken wings And now I, I've been a bad, bad boy and I can trace it And now I gotta meet your daddy Oh, the joy, cause I have to face it I got chickens, chickens, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Tomorrow I gotta meet your dad, and I'm running short of time. Man, I sure hope that everything will go just fine. But I'd ask her to cancel our date, but I'm sure she'll just decline. This old damn thing is just messing with my mind. It gives me chickens, yeah, chickens, cause girl, I'm thinking of you. Yesterday I met your mama, now I gotta meet your daddy too. And I heard he was six foot four, and he wears a diamond ring. Oh, I've got feathers in my wallet, but no chicken wings. Feathers in my wallet, but no chicken wings. I've got feathers in my wallet, but no chicken wings. To all the girls that I've loved before, that have come walking in and out my door. 
I dedicate this to all the ones I love before. You can come along, join in and sing my song. Let's sit out little night, watch the morning sun. Rising through the year, then we'll go home when it's all done to all the girls, all the girls, all the girls. <laughs> Hello, little girl, now come and sit next to me. You can join in once or twice, yet yeah, all you to do is take this seat. Let's see my favorite note, watch the sun go rolling by. Don't worry about it. Cause I take life in its stride Let's sit out little now Watch the morning sun Rising through the air Then we'll go home when it's all done To all the girls Yeah, all the girls All the girls You can come over with Open your arms and see Hug and kiss and hold and And squeezing you tightly Little girl, don't walk away Little girl, don't walk away Little girl, don't walk away from me Little girl, stay here and play Little girl, stay here today. Little girl, stay here and play with me. To all the girls that I've loved before, that have come walking in and out my door, I dedicate this to all the ones I love before. You can come along, join in and sing my song. Let's sit out little now, watch the morning sun rising to the end. Go home and it's all done to all the girls. Yeah, all the girls. All the girls. All the girls and me. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. See you later. So, Steph, how did you like that? That was cool, Daddy O. Yeah? Come on, then, tell me this joke. Okay. Three tomatoes are walking down the street. Mm -hmm. Papa tomato, baby tomato, and mama tomato. Baby tomato starts lagging behind, so Papa tomato goes back and squishes him and says, ketchup. That was pretty corny. What? <laughs> See you, baby cake. Ah, where's Elvis?